One moment. We're trying to get Junkie Joe. It may buffer. Can y'all hear me? Okay, good. Hello, everybody! <laughs> wow, what a day, what a day. All right, well, we're going to figure this out. If y'all didn't know, I'm Linda Israel, and I'm running late. We're about 10 minutes late, and I apologize for that. <clears throat> Normally, I'm live at 3.45 p.m., and I started to lie again, and I couldn't get the systems to work. So, I had to call my internet service provider, and... They didn't really help, other than they're going to send out a technician, guess when? <gasps> Tomorrow. <laughs> but I think I got just enough. It may give some uh, uh, buffering, so I apologize. Uh, hopefully it will be working, okay? <laughs> Again, I'm Linda Israel. Welcome. Thank you for being here. I really appreciate each and every one of you taking the time to come. And as a thank you, I am giving away 200 junk bucks. You type exclamation point raffle. And junk bucks are a virtual currency that you earn while watching my live streams. You can earn it by winning and you can earn it by making donations. You can check your bucks by typing exclamation point bucks and then you can redeem those for a coupon code. I believe I owe a couple of coupon codes. Hopefully I'll be able to do that tomorrow if I have internet. <laughs> uh, Robin is my right hand woman and my uh, one of my best friends here on internet and she takes really good care of me. She'll be taking notes throughout the live stream. If you have a question regarding an order, uh, make sure that you head over to lindaisrael.com and place a comment through the contact me form letting me know what your question is and I can then have your email address so we can get back and forth. Uh, let's keep the chat upbeat friendly and helpful i know that you know we're in some really crazy times right now so let's kind of get away from that and be helpful and supportive of each other with that being said if you are um Da, da, da. I was looking at the chat real quick. Like, if you have a YouTube channel, hey, speak up in the chat and say, hey, I have a YouTube. And if this is your first time here, I definitely want to see you say hey and where you're from. And of course, all my, my regular peeps, thank you so much for being here. I really greatly appreciate it. What else? Um, we're doing the Americana type of a journal, a 4th of July journal. I'm using a couple of kits from Calico Collage as well as one of my own kits. Yes, I have got embossing powder on the table. Um, and again, it may be uh, uh, buffering. Kim, so you like the peace symbol? Uh, yay. I just got that finished. Got that up this weekend. Um, I also made a couple other stencils. One of those being, let me get it out now got it covered up I have a do you see that it's fireworks I got y'all a fireworks stencil and I also have some chipboard pieces as well so I thought we would kind of begin I uh, I did some embossing right before the stream so y'all didn't have to wait on me I took a scrap of paper and used my ink pad, rubbed that over the piece of paper, dipped it into the embossing powder. Then I used a paper punch to punch out some hearts. I wanted some glitter and I have one sheet of glitter cardstock and I decided, you know, I have the embossing powder out. I can do this. It won't be that big of a deal. Thank you, Margie, for your donation. I greatly appreciate it. Love, love, love. You love the new step, Rhonda? Thank you. Hey, patio. Welcome. Hey, Sally, welcome. So I have some composition notebook paper here, and I thought we would use this to decorate a couple of pages for our journal. I will be making two journals today. Robin will probably share the Americana uh, list. There it is. She's got it. Calico collage. Patriotic. You can look patriotic. You can look Americana and you'll get a couple of those kits. But I took a composition notebook and I trimmed it down to be eight and a half by 11. And now I'm ready to do something with that. 
What I also did before the live is I took a heart-shaped paper punch. You, if you don't have one, you could trace a heart, uh, print one off the internet, use that as a template, draw your own, however you want to do that. Another thing that I did was I took another paper punch out of some red cardstock that I happen to have and blue cardstock and made some stars. And then I've got some postage stamps. I tried to pick some that it was very iconic in that it would say USA really large or represent the flag. Here we've got George Washington. This is Abraham Lincoln, I believe. My glasses I, are kind of dirty, so hopefully they'll, I can see that. I got the airplanes up here from the U.S. Navy. Is it Navy? Where is it? No, it doesn't say. That just says U.S. Air Mail. So anyhow, I thought what we would do... I want to keep this relatively simple is I would use a stencil. Let's use the fireworks stencil here. I'm laying it there just to see how this is going to look. I've got this little heart that I want to lay in here. And if I did the firework stencil right where it's at, all you're going to see is the little stars on the outside edge. But if I kind of move it down a little bit, and then come back up. Then we'd have the fireworks here. And if we put that here, maybe use a postage stamp. And then I thought this little gold star would be kind of cute. It's all flat. So it's not going to take up a lot of bulk in our journal. Thank you so much, Connie, for your donation. <clears throat> yeah, I'm having internet issues. Yeah, it's my end. So I'm sorry it's buffering really bad. Uh-oh, go, go plug your laptop in, Robin. <laughs> So what, what if we did something like that? We've got these little guys down here. If I put this closer to the top, so I think that'll work. So I'm just going to move this out of the way for a moment. What color? Let, let's do blue. I think a blue will be good. So I've got my blue uh, blueprint sketch, Distress Oxide. You can use regular Distress Inks. You could use your Tattered Angels. I just want to put it in this one spot. So that's why I'm using the the makeup brush blending tool if robin gets back she may share the blending tool link so there's the just a little bit of a starburst of fireworks there and i'm going to do that again over here i probably should have picked one in the middle so i didn't get lines on my page but sometimes Okay, I like that. So I'm getting those two. I'm going to go ahead and do it on all four sides. So I'm going to use the one that's already on there as kind of a guide, if you will. You love the fireworks stencil, Norella? Thank you. I kept playing around. I was like, I need another stencil. What could I make? And then... I have the, and I'm just going to be honest, I have the Cricut software. So I went into the Cricut software and I found a fireworks. I'm like, okay, now how can I make this my own? So I played around with it and added stars and just kind of came up with this little pattern. And I said to Henry, okay, I need this laser cut. So he laser cut it for me. I had a workshop on Saturday and he laser cut it for me. So I would have it for the workshop. I was really glad he did that. <laughs> Uh, thank you, Sherry, for your donation. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oval brushes. Thank you, Robin. All right, so I've added that. I'm going to do this one more time. I didn't get the chance to finish both pages. So I'm going to do it live. All right, I've distressed this heart already. I'm going to put one there. Then I've got a red star. So I'll put that in here. And I've got this blue postage stamp. And then I've got this gold star. So that's what we're going to do in here on this little cluster. I'm now thinking I want one more element behind there. And you can keep going with this, y'all. Um, you know, you can just keep going and going and going, adding some patterns to it. So I'm going to slide that out of the way for a moment. I'm going to grab a scrap of paper. And I've got the postscript collage here. And I'm going to grab this, ink it in black ink, and then come across that top area. 
and then I just got a little pattern in the background so now when I put this on top it just adds a little bit more to that can you see that let me move some stuff out of the way it just adds a little bit more to that background so I'm gonna do that again on all four corners or the other three corners and then we'll start gluing a bling yeah it's a bling it's a flat bling <laughs> It's a fat, flat bling using the embossing powder. We're going to use the embossing powder here in just a little bit. I was trying to save as much time as I possibly could before I came on live. That didn't always work. All right, so we'll put a heart there. I decided not to tattered angels every single page we will use some but I wanted to have that stark white and we'll put down a red star how's everybody's weekend did you have a good weekend I had a good weekend it was busy I uh, had a, a small workshop here in Yukon Oklahoma can't get my words out maybe like Kind of at a diagonal. Made new stencil designs. Made some new chipboard as well. I'll be showing you those as well. I got those added to my website. And then I took some time off from my computer. I'm trying to decide. Do I want to go down here? I think like that. I kind of like that. I do have some... Uh, of Norella's words. I, I'm pretty confident I have enough printed. But let me see real quick. Like one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Oh yeah, this will work. Okay, so now we can put uh, Liberty right in there. How's that? Just making a little cluster. <clears throat> Oh, you've been at the live Tony Robbins seminar? Wow, Raven. I hope you enjoyed it. Did you learn a lot? Love, love, love. You like it? Just, you know, a postage stamp, book page, rubber stamping, stenciling. Let's continue that. So I'm going to do it again. And we've got the heart. Get to the heart of it. So I'll put that kind of up high. We're gonna do you get to see this more. I saved you, I saved Rhonda this weekend. I forgot about that. She uh she messaged me, and this is a good for y'all to know too, that she was having issues with her gel plate. The paint was resisting and looked like it was oil on there. It wasn't smoothing out thank you tanya thank you so much thank you sherry thank you constance and margie for your donation it was balling up in little uh puddles on her gel plate and it just looked terrible and so we i was like okay have you cleaned your gel plate with you know something oily um have you shook the paint did you make sure to take the plastic coating off of it i know it sounds silly but sometimes that happens i've learned that someone completely forgot to take the little plastic uh coating that's on the gel plates on both sides off they were trying to gel plate print and it didn't work <laughs> i said well the only thing I can think of is that the paint is old and it is separating in the bottle. You sometimes can save it by shaking it up. I didn't tell her that. And sometimes you can't. And come to find out it was the paint. Now, I don't know if it was the brand of paint, but she was using a paint that did not work. Okay. So if you're ever curious, I always try to get a different brand of paint. Oh, something, it was online, something free he offered that you signed up for. Well, that's awesome. That is awesome. Well, you'll have to tell us all about it, Raven. Let us know what it was like. Okay, so there are those two. We're going to repeat this, so you're going to get the hang of it. All right, so I've got, oh, I need more stars, don't I? 
I need four. Oh yeah, I've got this. I got this. I'm losing my mind, y'all. <laughs> Okay, I've got those, and then these are going to go over here. I like doing projects that are assembly line like this. It may be not your favorite, but because it's assembly line, I kind of have an idea of how many I have, so <laughs> I can figure out what's going to go where. All right, let's go maybe like that, and then this one is going to go over here, and this is going to go right there. Okay. Oh, I forgot my star. I need a star. Do I not have enough stars? I thought I punched eight stars. Dang it. Did I not punch eight? Well, y'all get to see me do it. Oh, here's one. Some unboxing if I don't find them. Ah, I found them. <laughs> oh, my goodness. They're right here. Okay. I don't think I put saying on the other side, so maybe I'll do that in just a moment. Hey, Rita, welcome. So I'm working on an Americana page. I'm a little frazzled because my internet wasn't working right. <laughs> so bear with me as I go through this. <laughs> you, it was, you just purchased it the day before, and it was the paint. That's crazy. That's crazy. Th uh, congratulations, Tanya, on your coupon code. I'll get that sent out to you tomorrow. I keep dropping stuff. Now, now, don't be doing that. Put the star right there. Put the flag. I bought a bunch of postage stamps. I used some in the Out to Sea subscription box because I got thousands of them. And I thought y'all would enjoy having those in the subscription box. I had a little bit left over. So I decided to... Uh, use some in the project today. I got a little too much glue. My embossing piece is curling up. That happens when it gets wet. Yeah, you, you thought he was an amazing person. Uh, Raven went to uh, Tony Robbins online seminar he said that he's an amazing person. She just needs to not lose the momentum and apply everything that he taught. It was very much worth the time. I took a ton of notes and got to create my first live videos. Awesome, Raven. That's awesome. All right, let's put this guy. I could put it that way, but I think I want it over here. That's kind of cute, just how it comes together. Put the postage stamp up there. And then we'll pick out some sayings that we'll put on here. And we'll do this one more time. Because I am planning on making two journals today. I'm just going to have to work quickly. Okay. I'll put that little acrylic block on there to help smooth out that star. Um, how about... America the Beautiful. That could go right there. Just gonna make a little cluster. Got a bug flying across my page. Hello, Barb. Hey, Rhonda. Vienna, welcome. Maria, hello. Karen, Giovanna, Tanya, Jennifer Smith, hello. Barb. Hey, Barb. And of course, Tanya and Raven, we've been talking to, and Robin. All right. And I thought I saw, was Norella here? Hey, Norella. Sorry I didn't say hi sooner. I didn't mean to snub you. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe like that. You, know, you can change it up a little bit. That's kind of cute. I could. I wonder if I have enough. Oh, I do. I have a little bit of this red. I want to see what it would look like if I were to grab a red star. And put a red star on here. Is that too much? No, I don't like it. Not unless I put it on top of the postage. It doesn't look right. We'll contemplate that. All right, let's flip it. And let's put a saying over here. Ah, here we go. We got bravery. So we'll put bravery in there. How's that? Oh, Barb's got her coupon code. 
Somebody's shop shopping cart is full. <laughs> well, thank you. I appreciate that. All right, let's repeat this. So I'm going to move that out of the way. I'm putting it where I can see it so I can do it again. Play it again, Sam. <laughs> Yeah, the, the steam pot, steampunk box, which will be a uh, punked out steam, will come out in August. That is correct. I am going to put a little bit of washi tape on my stencil this time, just because I don't want it to move. And number two, I want to not have that line because I got too close to the edge. Okay, and I'll leave that washi tape on there. I should be able to, maybe not. There we go. Well, I made a mess over here. <laughs> Elbow cough. You're ready for that one? The punked out steam too. Yes, the July Stencil Club is the uh, gears or steampunk designs. Okay. Come on now. I think it was more trouble than it was worth trying to put the washi tape on. Let's see if I get a little bigger bite. All right, I'm trying not to push it all the way down. All right, I don't have a song today to sing to y'all. <laughs> You're welcome, Raven. <sighs> you are most welcome. All right, so that I don't need anymore. I'm going to get rid of it because it goes everywhere, and if you don't dry it, it's a mess. Okay, we need to stamp it. So I'm going to get the stamp out again. And where did I put my ink pad? <laughs> it walks off, y'all. All right, so we're going to stamp that. Stamp that. Flip it and do it again. Which is different than flipper, flipper. <laughs> I forgot all the song. Okay, got that. All right. Whew. Hey, Barb, thank you for your donation. Stars and stripes forever. All right, let's put some hearts. Put a little heart into it now. <laughs> thank you so much for your donation, Raven. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Y'all are amazing. Do you all have plans for those of you that are in the United States anyway for the 4th of July? When is, uh, and I guess, Julie, are you here today? I, I didn't see your name. If uh, you're here or anybody from overseas, when is your, what, I, I guess, your celebration? I know, like, uh, what is it, uh, Bastille Day? Is that France? Um, what is what is your celebration? We'd love to hear about that. like to learn new things. I may not retain that information. <laughs> I can tell you that toads will bury about 50 centimeters or about a foot in order to survive the winter. That earthworms will come to the surface because they think they're being persecuted or, yeah, persecuted by um, 
moles and that they come up on the ground after it rains, it is thought that the reason being is because the pitter-patter of the rain on the ground makes them think a mole is coming after them and their means of escape is to come above ground and then when they get above ground my theory is they get, are in shock from the rain hitting them and they die that's my thought anyway we got the little plane we'll get another saying we have Australia Day on the 26th of January. Awesome. Thank you, Julie. You know what? The 26th of January is when Henry and I got married. So we got married on Australia Day. Hey, <laughs> <I> mate. <laughs> Please don't be offended by my silly accent. <laughs> All right. We'll put uh, a star. Of course, I have a silly accent living in Oklahoma. I think I've already lost another star. Oh, there it is. And then um, stand together, maybe. Duty, honor your country we've got. Oh, yeah, all-American girl. I don't think we want all-American girl on here. You getting the loop, the loop, the loop? I understand, Julia. We're having buffering. Henry says, it's a sign. Henry found out that the one of the cruise lines that we go through has an amazing deal, but you got to fly to Australia. And I'm like, and how much is airfare? <laughs> so I guess, Henry, if you can come up with airfare, we'll go. All right, we'll put this right here. We'll use Lincoln over here. It's everyone else. <laughs> hey, Ashley, welcome. The next journal you'll see it won't be for a while, and it won't and it won't be only a journal. It will be everything. I bet. Oh, cool, 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 awesome. Benito style box of supplies along with the journal. Well, awesome, Raven. I look forward to that. You'll get me inspired to create. All right, we'll put this over here. I get to see Ashley. You think the air fare be low enough? Grow some wings. Here we go. I have been lifting and uh, working out. And today, Henry, how much was it? I've already forgotten. I put five 45-pound plates onto a sled that's at the gym and then we we're not positive but we think the sled weighs around 65 pounds is that about right henry so how much is five times 45 plus 65 that's how much i pushed like this you put your hands in front on these bars and you you push <laughs> Oh my goodness, Ashley just bought a bunch of fireworks. Oh my goodness. <laughs> we may have to stop on the way and pick some up. I'm sure there will be some kind of uh, stand. Usually here in Oklahoma, we can do fireworks. I'm getting some other. Made in the USA. Oh yeah, we got Abraham Lincoln. We'll put that over there. The sled weighs 100 pounds. Okay, so it was 325. You, Henry did the research. He figured it out. So I pushed 325 pounds. So he was giving me um, a hard time at the gym. And I said, now listen, I know I can push you. <laughs> and he goes, well, I guess so. we know you can now. <laughs> hey, Dorlisa, welcome. <laughs> Yeah, it's, I'm having internet issues, y'all. You're just going to have to bear with me. Refresh whenever you're getting the opportunity. It may buffer. It may drop out. I've got to call in to my internet provider. They said they'll be here between 8 and 10 a.m. tomorrow. I'm not in the least bit annoyed. <laughs> uh, thank you, Jennifer Edmondson, for your donation. How are you, lady? 
I hope you are well. Did you get your kit? Didn't you get a kit? I know Jennifer did. Hi! Hi, Beverly! Welcome! Welcome, welcome, welcome! All right, flipping my book over, my page over. All right, so now we've got the blue stars, and I've got the postage stamps, got the gold stars, and then we'll pick a couple of sayings. Oh, we got, we stand by the flag. How about uh, let freedom ring? So I'll just go ahead and glue those down. You did get your kit? Okay, good. Yay, I hope you're enjoying it. Get it out. Make something. Poke, poke, nudge, nudge. She's reminding me we're having a raffle for the 200 junk bucks. So get in on that. I'll draw it here as soon as I get this page put together. We'll draw that winner, and then I'll get my next page out, and we'll start creating. I could have reversed that, put the flag on the other side, but, you know, sometimes I just get stuck. And I like to repeat what I'm doing. All right, I'm going to put my block on there for a moment. Squirrel! And let's put, uh, let freedom. I don't want to cover up the... Uh, Oh, here we go. We'll go down low. I didn't want to cover up the fireworks. Okay. Oh, yay, Terry. I'm glad you got it. You're welcome. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'll be mailing out prizes tomorrow a little bit. I've got some people that's placed some orders. I'm waiting on rubber stamps for a couple of people. Um, I think Beverly told me she was pressing them. But it was so hot, I'm sure she didn't stay out very long in her shop working this weekend. So hopefully she'll have them for me tomorrow. The stencils I will be mailing out. If you order any of my new stencils or the chipboard, I will definitely get it out. As long as you didn't order stamps with it, it'll all go out to like tomorrow. I can get it shipped out. Because those are things that I have on hand. We stand by the flag. All right, so I'm going to put that right there. Okay, I'm going to get a drink, and then we're going to do the raffle. Oh, how weird. You shouldn't get a commercial in the live. That's odd. All right, we're... It says drop frames again. It's still buffering, y'all. I'm going to hurry. Maybe. <laughs> All right, let's do the raffle. And what is Oh, you know what? I'm pretty sure. Okay. Thank you, Doralisa. Thank you so much. I greatly appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, everybody in the raffle now? I know. Hey, Kristen. Oh, you've been enjoying some swimming. Wonderful. I was supposed to go to one of my friend's house for her birthday, but her sister has been gallivanting all across the country, and so I was being invited, her mom, and then this lady, and the sister, apparently. And because the sister was going to come, we decided not to do it because we that would expose us to COVID possibly, you know, where uh, my friend, myself, and her mom hadn't been anywhere. I, I mean, I've only been to like one other person. I haven't been to anybody's house. I've been at, not gone inside. I did have the workshop, but again, those ladies are the same people I've seen, <laughs> so I'm not concerned, but if you've seen hundreds of people, I don't really want that exposure, just in case. <laughs> So I didn't get to go swim. I was looking forward to it. I'll have to tell her I'm coming over. <laughs> Alrighty. Let's do the raffle. I think I saw everybody getting in. I told my little star. You like my curls? Thank you. Mine's not as curly as yours. <laughs> Alright. Let's pick a winner. And the winner of the 200 junk bucks is Sherry Deskins. Congratulations. Alright. And I've decided I'm going to be generous. USA. 
I'm going to give away a set of these USA chipboard pieces. I doo -doo -doo, got a piece of paper here. Thank you, Janice, for your donation. So this is what I'm giving away. If y'all haven't seen it, um, it needs to be poked out. It's still got a few heart stars in there. You get 11 chipboard pieces. So we've got this little chipboard flag. You get Let Freedom Ring. It's a little tag. The E is still in there. There we go. Oh, no. Let Freedom Ring. The Liberty has the word Liberty inside of it. See there? It's coming loose. I'm going to leave it there so it doesn't get ruined. Maybe. Don't sm come out. So you actually, that's two pieces. And then you have I Love USA. You have an eagle. You have the United States. You have the word USA with stars. And then you've got three chipboard stars. So that is our prize in this next giveaway. And all you got to do is type exclamation point raffle. Okay. Set this aside. There we go. All right. So there is my journal page. What do you think? Just simple, little decoration. Didn't take us too, too long. You need that chipboard, Jennifer? I'll show you, Jennifer. We're going to use it. We're going to use some. I'm going to set that there. Y'all enter the raffle. All right, I haven't decided what I want to put on this page. So I'm just kind of looking here. I do have a couple of stamps left. I do have some of the chipboard pieces. I know I'm going to use those on the cover. I think what I'm going to do is I'm breaking out a second set here. And let's, um, let's do some embossing on these stars. So I've got, uh, I think I have, there should be another one. I probably lost it already. I had six stars, but we're going to use four of them. So I'm going to take these four stars. I'm going to put them on my little piece of scrap paper here. I've got my ink pad and I'm going to mush it into that star. It works better on the scrap of paper because I can just keep swiping that whole piece of paper. So I'm just kind of smooshing that onto the star. And this is embossing ink. And the reason why I'm going to do that is because we're going to emboss. And I was going to do the gold glitter, but I think I'm going to see if I have some red. Oh, I have some red. Is that glitter? I have red glitter. Oh my gosh. We got to use it. We got it. All right. I'm going to put this onto a new piece of paper that doesn't have embossing powder or fluid on it. Woo! We're going to have some glitter paper. I've already got glitter all over me today. All right. I'm going to get me a pair of tweezers. And that didn't stick very well because my ink pad may not have gotten all of that one. So we'll just heat it up and do it again. Or I'm on the wrong side. Let's see. No, we'll have to do it again. All right, so these got a little bit on there. Let me grab my pan. What I like to do is when I'm doing a lot, and I want to do them a little bit faster, I'll put them on a metal pan, piece of aluminum foil, 
so that it gets a little bit of heat from behind. Oh yeah, I need to go ahead and emboss this one, even though it's, or wipe it off. Maybe that's what I'll do. We'll just wipe it off. All right, so I just wiped it off. And I'm gonna stick it back into this pad again. All right, that should, should have enough. That should have enough. Okay, good. I was gonna keep the embossing powder out because I thought I would multiple emboss, do it in layers, but I think we're good. Close the lid so it doesn't blow everywhere. Now I'm gonna use my heat tool and heat these up and emboss it. All right. Glitter? Yeah, I'm going to I'm going radical. I'm using glitter. <laughs> glitter embossing powder. Don't remember I use uh, the glitter glitter tulip paint. That's what I like to use. I'm trying to watch this to make sure it's heating up. Working on it. I don't think I got all that one star yet, so we may have to hit it again. Oh, you okay? You don't have one, but you have Australia Day. And that's just celebrating Australia, is it not? All right. So when you do heat embossing, don't touch it right away because it'll freaking hot, and you don't want to burn yourself. So I'm waiting just a moment, kind of shifting it around. And I think, is that one done? It's not coming off. Oh, yep, it's not done. i got to do some more on that one. I could kind of tell, but with the glitter, it's a little bit harder to see if it's done. I need my piece of paper back. And I think those need a little bit more. So we're going to heat it just a little bit more. Now you all know why I tried to do embossing well ahead of time. So you don't have to wait on me. Hot, hot, hot. Yeah, it's on my side. Yeah, it gets freaking hot. <laughs> yeah, I'm having internet issues. It's buffering. So if you're having issues... You may have to kind of refresh. I apologize. My internet service provider has been informed and they are sending out technicians tomorrow. Hot, hot, hot. So this is one way to use chipboard. You can emboss with embossing powder. You can paint them. You can leave them the way they are. All right. Waiting for that to cool off. I don't want to touch it. Okay, I think it's cool enough. All right. Ooh, this one's still hot. Come on. There. There. All right. Noise. Crash, bang, boom. So now we have this little star. What else could we put on here that would look kind of cute? So how about... I've got the star stencil... So let's basically stars on stars, and let's do it with some tattered angels. 
What's the latest I can order the July Stencil Club? Anytime, Raven. July 15th when they're shipped out. So you can order them anytime. And what you can do is if it's after the 15th that you place your first Stencil Club order, just say, hey, I want the July Stencil Club as my first order. Okay? Good job, Junkie Joe gave uh, Jennifer 120 junk bucks. All right, so I'm just using some Tattered Angels. This is from uh, Positive Vibes. I do offer this color in my shop. I've got some copy weight paper. And we're going to mop up. And I'm going to have to move faster because I got on late, and so I have to hurry to get all this done. All right, I'm spraying both sides just so that I have it. So now I have this page that we created. And now I have this on the blue. I'm going to go ahead and turn this over. And I think if I do this right, no, this way. If I line it up on the other side pretty close, I can see the shadow. I can do this side. And it kind of bleeds through both sides. And we'll, we'll do another sheet of paper. I like it. Okay. See how that turned out? I'm going to do that one more time. Oh, let's go right side out. Are you still getting commercials? Oh, you have a, a an ad blocker. You use block and never get commercials. How weird. I mean, I know my channel is um, monetized, but I didn't know they did it during the live streams. They must be really trying to uh, up their revenue. All right, so now both sides are done of the other the mop up page. It again. Oh, I didn't get it lined up. I just guessed. Did I have it right? I don't believe I did that. That's funny. I got it right. All right, we're going to pick up the other one. There, so now we've got this pretty blue. You need the stars. Yeah, this is the star stencil. Star stencil. Okay. I'm going to dry it just a little bit. <laughs> I can't believe it. That's hilarious. Because it never happens. I'm usually wrong, Robin. <laughs> you know that. Okay. So we got that. What if we put this little star, at least one. We may not use but two on each page. All right. So this time, I'm just going to let that star be the star and I've got this little flourish so let's put that let's add as if it was coming out and then put this little star on top what do you think something like that real simple because we spent you know the 
embossing powder on there. But we could layer it like we did on the other page where we put the punched shapes with it. But I think I like that. So I'm going to do that on this side and then we'll repeat that on the other. All right. Oh, it's it's re it's setting you back up into the page. You may have to um somebody text that she may need to refresh and go live. Make sure it's on the I think it says go live. Well, and I'm also doing it a couple of times. So yeah, you may be seeing me repeat it. I'm repeating it. So I've done this one. I'm going to slide this down. Maybe that'll help because I've got, here's the next one. So yeah, I'm repeating myself. <laughs> okay, I'm repeating myself. That's what's going on. All right, so we're going to do this side. I've got one more star for each side. And I want this right about there. And I want this one right about there. And then I can glue them down. Okay, everybody's up to date now. <laughs> Live chat is the other thing. Oh my gosh, there's too many things sometimes. All right, put that there. All right, then we're going to flip this over and decorate the other side. We'll do something different. Okay, so we got those two made. So now I'm going to flip this over. And we'll come up with something there. How about... What do I have here? I do have these stars that come with the word kit that I'm using from Norella. So maybe we'll do something like big little, big little, something like that. We'll make them match just so they're the same. All right, so we've got those. And let's just do the little swirl coming out from those too. Uh, thank you so much, Robin. I know we're buffering. I'll have to do a flip through video. I'm not happy about it either. I may have got that one too far over. I got a little ambitious there with my stamping. Well, Ashley's got 185 junk bucks. She's a little junkin baby. <laughs> oh, dear. Thank y'all for being here, for watching and putting up with the internet issues we're having today. Otherwise, y'all having a good day? I've had a headache. Yeah, we've been worse. Yes, exactly. <laughs> it, it's been worse. Thank you, thank you, thank you for being here. Ah, the, keep, the chat keeps going even when I freeze. Yep, you can still chat. That's through the, the system of YouTube. But my video comes from my computer and my internet provider. And I know that sounds weird, but it's because they are driving the chat. I'm driving the video. All right, look at that. Just something simple. So we've got two pages for the two different journals. Junk and baby. <laughs> All right. What else we got here? You know, I think... One, two... I have this red vellum, and I think I'm just going to leave it. I think it's going to look neat. You can write directly on it. You could add elements to it if you so choose, but I think I'm just going to leave it like it is. This is where I need that. Yeah. All right, let's see if I can get this one going. I've got a little, a bit of ephemera. I have a 12 by 12 piece of 
scrapbook paper that I cut down. So I cut off a one inch strip. Then I used my paper cutter to score it so that this is eight and a half inches. So we end up with, when you fold this up, a 11 by eight and a half inch tall. That's the only reason why I did it that way. It's just to showing you a way how you can use 12 by 12 paper. You love the red vellum? Thank you. I've had that vellum for a long time and I thought it was time that I used it. All right, so I know my stencil is dirty because I use the Distress Oxides and I don't want to transfer that to my page. So I'm just going to clean it off real quick like. Normally I wouldn't even worry about it, but I am going to use this as a mop up and I really don't want there to be a blue blob there. That makes sense. So we're going to put this guy, the fireworks stencil. I'm folding back the pocket so it's out of my way. And I'll put my stencil down in my box. And I'm using the box just to keep spray from going everywhere. And see, you're seeing the chat. We're, we're buffering. Um, we're buffering. Sorry. You may have some issues. As we are buffering. All right, so I've got red chili pepper that I'm going to spray on every other um, stencil firework. Okay. Then I've got um, positive vibes, and I'll go in here and spray the others. This one's almost empty. I've just about used it up. And then I'm going to grab a sheet of paper and mop up. I missed it a little bit, but that's okay. So we'll spray the back side. And then we'll have this page. that we can use. What do you think of that? It came up, Carrie says. All right. Don't need the stencil. Now I've got this page that I have sprayed. I'm going to fold this back upon itself. I want this to have a little bit more reinforcement, so I'm just going to fold it over. It may not be perfect. You could take it to the sewing machine and stitch. You like how that turned out? Thank you. Ooh. Ah. <laughs> well, glue down the sides. Like so. Alrighty. And then I have these flags that are from Norella's kit. I printed the kit twice as far as her kits, three kits. I take that back. The word elements I printed one time. The patriotic ephemera I printed twice. And then I chose six images out of the Americana journal pages and printed those. On the back side of those six pages, I printed six images from my patriotic mixed media, the pages that I made a while back. And then I chose some of Norella's pages that I turned into a cover cardstock so that we can decorate that. All right, so I'm just scoring that. I've got these words, so I'm going to put uh, proud and brave. What else do we have? Land of the free. Uh, 
And Rocket's Red Glare. Yes, this is a new stencil, Connie. It is called the Fireworks Stencil. But you could use it for other times of the year other than 4th of July. You could do it for a Chinese New Year or Happy New Year. Birthday. Just because. With the rainbow kit. Oh, wouldn't that be pretty in pink? Little pink sparkles. Sparkles! I've got some cardstock. I have this pad of paper. I don't know how long I've had it. A while. I got it a, a while back, but it's a vintage nation and it's all cardstock that's basically patriotic so I cut some four by six rectangles and I'm just gonna do really simple and put freedom isn't free across there not yet Jennifer but get in on the raffle if you haven't already we'll be giving away some of the chipboard so that's gonna go right there I have from the kit from Norella. I thought he was super cute. Put that over here. Let's flip this over. Ah, that's what I did. Okay, so I want... This is another scrapbook paper that I cut to fit the width. And then I have the United States chipboard. So I'm going to take some Distress Ink. I was going to do that before I did the live and I forgot. The HP printer that I use is an HP Photo or Envy Photo 7855. It is a couple of years older. Uh, maybe two years by now, but you can still order it on Amazon. I Mine went out because I print a minimum of 300 pages a month. And I'm on the Instant Ink program, and the print head after a year and a half died. So I would recommend if you buy this printer brand new, that you go ahead and get whatever um, extended one-year warranty past the at least the expiration of the warranty because if the printhead goes out you gotta you're out you'll have to just get another printer i like it though you like the chipboards thank you barb so now i've got blueprint sketch and i've already forgotten i think it's called star duo i have not added it to my shop yet i just got the stamps i don't even have the image yet and uh I'll get those added, but I'm just using the blueprint sketch and I'm going to stamp all over. So it just kind of adds another layer. Okay. And I'm going to take this and we're going to make a pocket. Oh, I see what I did. Okay. We're going to make a pocket. So I'm going to glue that down. Oh, it's a HP Photo Smart NV 7588 or 7855. 7855. Always get that backwards. Yeah, and you can always message me and I can I can share, share it with y'all. I think I need to put some distress inks on my pocket piece. This is again some of that cardstock I had in that notepad. And I really need to use it up. And I thought it looked really good. You bought a printer? Yay! Good! I hope you I do enjoy it. Did you get it set up on the HP Instant Ink program? Or did you do the... Uh, was it Echo Tank? I think people were saying. I'm going to put that right here. And then I've got this journal card that comes in the kit. We the people. That's going to be the inspiration for a journal card here in just a little bit that I'm going to make. Okay. I think... I'm looking. I still have some things here. I've got this little girl. Let's put her right there. 
Yeah, that looks kind of cute. Got a couple more little pieces, but we can find some place to put those. I think I'm going to leave this like it is at the moment. We may find something else. Who knows? But right now, I think I'm going to leave it. And I just did that again. Different words I put inside because it's the same kit. Oh, make sure you like my good. You love the page, to Ashley? So there's another page done. Now we made this earlier, so I'm going to keep it relatively simple. I am going to need some cardstock. I might be able to get some out of here. Let's see what happens. This may not have enough. Oh, no, I'm going to need another sheet of paper. I need a sheet of paper. I got some cardstock right here. I need two stars. So I'm going to do this. One and two. Okay. What else do I need? I think that's it. I'm going to go ahead and fold this in half so I know where it is. Okay, let's work on the uh, inside. We're going to work inside out. Right side out, inside out. Is that, and then also a lyric to a song. And Bar Barb's in Canada. So yeah, did you get a new printer as well? You haven't opened your new printer, Barb? Get it out, girl. Get it out. We're going to use those. But I think I want to stamp. Which one did I use? Oh, yeah, we used this guy. So this is like the ship. I don't know if this is a ship's roster. It has to do with ship. We do ship roster. It could be a different name. But I like the way it looked in that script in the background, like that. So we got a little script going on there. And so I'm going to take the stars and put those on top. I'm looking here, looking at my example. And put that right here. To this one. I'm getting to the complicated pages. They're coming. <laughs> Proud American. So we'll put that right here. On duty, honor, and country. And we'll put this one right there. And I think for the other side, I'm just going to grab. Home of the free. That'll work. Land that I love. Really simple. But with all that on there, you don't really have to have a lot. All right. So there is another page. Here's what I made earlier. Okay. Same concept with the starbursts or the fireworks. I like how it bleeds through too. Alright. First complicated page. Coming right up. Alright. So I've got is this the one? No. I don't need this yet. So I'm close it. Move it, on. Move it on over. Move it on over. So I've got a bunch of little things here, and we're going to start with this page. Did I do that twice on there? Clean my hands off.
Uh, thank you, Karen, for your donation. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Mm -hmm. I'm getting out a star stencil, and this is a junior legal note paper. And I'm going to lay that in my spray box here. And we're going to use the positive vibes. I like this star pattern. It's fun. And I need to clean my hands off as I get this out of here. There we go. So using a junior legal note paper, I used the star stencil and some tattered angels and I was able to alter that and put that pattern on there. And we're using a light enough color that we'll be able to write and be able to see our words. I'm going to go ahead and use some Distress Ink around the edge. It's easier to do if the paper's dry. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to put that one up there. And I've got this portion already made. Here it is. So here's a little element that I made. It's about a three and a quarter inch square, and then that's a three inch square of book paper, actually from a Bible. The punch that we used earlier, a smaller punch, there's bling on this one, and then this is one of Norella's images from her kit. So I'm going to glue this page down. I've got this backwards. I want it to go here. Okay. I'll glue this page down here somewhat center top because we're going to make this little pocket at the bottom carefully smooth it out oh yeah and then I use the distressed um, textured edges on there this postage stamp's cool, isn't it? I'm going to glue that in the corner. Like so. All right. And now I've got this side. This was a square. I had a strip of this blue paper, so I just cut it in half. And I thought I would use this uh, George Washington image on top of it. So I'm going to put glue on here and glue it down to this piece. I just like that blue. Oh no, the dog going crazy. Thank you for your... Uh, Donation Karen and Janice and Norlisa, Jennifer, Raven, Barb, Dingwell, Tanya, Sherry, Sherry, uh, Constance or Connie, and Margie. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, I think I'm going to put it like this. So we're going to go down this side and across the bottom, make a little pocket. Making a pocket. Like that. You have to rewatch. Yeah. All right, we got that. And then I had this little scrap of cardstock that I thought would look good up there, but I want to do something in this corner. So I'm going to grab my piece of paper here and I've got this small pr letter small print letter I think that's what it's called a small print letter I forget just do letter and you'll find it <laughs> and we're gonna stamp that kind of up here in this upper 
corner, just making a little pattern. Okay. And then I've got the star stamp in the blueprint sketch. And we're going to stamp right on top of that. It kind of looks like a flag, you know, without the rest of the stripes, doesn't it? Done it? Done it? We're watching a show that had a, is it I Irish? Interesting, the phraseology, because this is supposed to be set back in the 60s. that right there and then in the kit the ephemera pack she had these little smaller images poke poke nudge nudge it's time for the giveaway of the um, chipboard pieces here's another cardstock piece that I cut Apparently, I didn't put distress inks on, but we can do that now. Okay, and then I thought I've got this little other, a different postage stamp image that we would put here. So it's the opposite that's on the other page. And you could layer this up if you wanted. I just like that simpleness. Okay, that's going to go right here. This journal card is going to go right there. And I've got one more thing. I have this heart stamp. I don't remember the name of it. Heart. It's not flare. I think if you did heart, it'll show up in the rubber stamps eventually. It's not winged. But it has this cool, well, I guess it might be winged heart. I just thought that would be kind of pretty, putting that in the middle there. You like it? All right, so we're going to work on this side, and we're going to do the raffle. Need some lotion. <laughs> and I need a prize. Oh, Jennifer got 60 junk bucks. Good job. You love this journal page. Thank you, Kristen. Thank you so much. You like that? How that came together? All right, so we're going to do the raffle. And the winner of the chipboard pieces, like these type pieces that I'm using today, is Janice Brammer. Congratulations. You have won the USA chipboard pieces. Congratulations. Alrighty, we're going to reset this, and we're going to do mop-up pages, open giveaway. Alright, so we've got a few mop-up pages that I made today, and I was going to use them, but I decided I'll uh, pass them along to y'all. So this was me playing around with my Tattered Angels. This is because my stencil had Distress Ink on it, so it just kind of got a faded effect didn't spray the whole page so you get a few with these stars so you can mix them in with yours so y'all enter the raffle and then we'll make this side all right so over here oh yeah this is going to be complicated i'll have to hurry i've got a strip of paper here that we're going to use as a belly band but I want something on this red so it's not just the red without anything on it so I'm going to grab the small print letter and I'm just pressing it to 
this every once in a while. So it may be a little bit faded in areas, but that's okay. I know, Sherry, I just saw them in a box. I got it. I've got it set aside. I thought you had an order, so it was supposed to go in that order, and I didn't see the order come through, so I left it in the box and forgot about it. But they'll be going out tomorrow. As long as I have postage. <laughs> All right, so that's going to go here, I think. I made this prior to the live stream. So I used the postscript collage, which that's the postscript collage. And I stamped it on about a three-inch square and did the gold embossing powder. Did the heart punch and the two different star punches. And then added a little bit of bling. And I'm going to glue that on my belly band. This has been fun using some of this cardstock that I've had in my stash for a long time. If y'all didn't know, I used to make and sell tons of greeting cards. I had them in like four different shops here in Oklahoma. And all of those shops have since closed, <laughs> so I don't make cards anymore. <laughs> all right, so we glued that onto our band. And this is going to be glued onto my page right in the center. Okay. That's what we'll do, Sherry. Perfect. <laughs> More thunder, Margie? Is it thunder? Is it someone shooting off fireworks? We thought we were hearing thunder the other night. And it didn't continue. And then we heard it again. And we were like... Is it going to rain? And we go outside and there's a little bit of lightning in the distance, but we didn't think that was really what it was. It was fireworks. All right, so I've got this guy. We're going to make a card to go inside, but I want to finish this side over here. So another one of this scrapbook papers that I had. So I'm going to put that right here. And I've got this little gal that I thought was really super cute. So I'm going to glue her in this little corner here. The other journal, I glued it completely down, and this time I'm just making an L. So right here to here is glued down. And then I'll glue on the back side. It's wet and gloomy there. Yeah, you you started paper crafting, buying, uh, make you were gonna make your own cards. You were gonna save so much money. Yeah, no, that's not how what happened. Not in the least. Now I do have a ton of supplies because I started collecting them so long ago. I showed y'all in the past, but do you see back here all of those paper containers? That's all 12 by 12 scrapbook paper pads. And then I have more this way, up there, and over there, and over there. <laughs> so I'm really trying to use up all this stuff. I've got another journal card here out of scrapbook paper, and I thought this image was kind of pretty. I'm going to make it real simple, put it right in the middle. Like so. And then I've got, uh, did I put a saying on there? Yeah. There should be a saying. Where is it? Well, I guess we'll use this one. United States of America. We'll put that on there. Yeah, each card you've made is about 500 bucks. You haven't made very many cards. Is that what you're telling me? <laughs> I have spent my time making cards all weekend that I ended up making two to 300 cards that I sold in my shop. All right, that's going to go there. And, oh yeah, let's do a saying up here, Independence Day. 
And then we need to make the card that goes over here. All right, let's make the card that goes here. And this you should like, I hope, I hope. All righty. I have a five by seven journal card here. I have the Bella Rose stamp. Prior to the video, I stamped the Bella Rose onto a piece of text weight paper. I fussy cut it out. I used a small little squiggle of the best glue ever on the back side and left it to air dry. And when I did, it makes this sticky, sticky. You can see the little squiggles on there. So it makes it sticky so we can use these as a mask. Okay. So earlier I told you we're going to use a card that Norella had in her kit as inspiration for a card that we're going to use here. I got to find it. Where'd it go? All right. I just had it. Oh, there it is. So we have three roses. We have some stars. We have some text in the background. So I'm going to take this Bella Rose stamp and we're going to stamp it somewhat in the center here. I'm kind of looking where the leaves are going. So probably right about there. I'll lay one of my masks over the image, kind of press that down, and then we're going to stamp, I'm going to rotate the leaves a little, yeah, about right there, and we're going to stamp it up here, and I didn't need it, but if you do, you could mask it, I think I'll go ahead and do it this time, so mask again, and then I'm going to rotate the stamp so it has a different angle on it and stamp right here. So it makes this image look like it's in the front, right? All right, next I'm going to put my mask back on because I got ahead of myself. Put your mask back on. It's not time yet. <laughs> Oh my word. That's what happens when I have issues with my internet. All right, so now I've got the small print letter again in black archival ink, and I'm just kind of tapping it to the page just a little bit here and there. And I'm okay if it's not real dark. I'm also going to grab my just blending tool and just kind of rub it over every once in a while. The reason being is because this cardstock was actually dirty. It had a little smudge on it. And I thought, well, cover it up by adding more smudges. 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 So now I've got the star stencil. I know this is sounding and looking really complicated, but you're going to like it when we're done. So now we've got the star stencil. I'm going to pick up the blueprint sketch again, yeah, and we're going to get the blending tool, and we're going to come in here. I don't need to go in the center. I'm just wanting to go around my roses. So it's a way to make that layered background without having to hand cut images and layer them one on top of the other. You can do it by stamping directly onto the paper. So now we take off the masks and you see what we have so far? How that's looking? But wait! There is more! <laughs> Alright, so now I've got aged mahogany and I've got these fantastics they have two different styles one is a pointed nib and then there's a blunt nib you get three of each in the package I'm rubbing this nib onto my ink pad and we're going to come in here and colorize the rose I've learned that if you just kind of do a little bit of a circular motion with it They'll apply the color. 
If you start closer to where you want it dark and then move your way out, you get that blended effect. And I'm going to do that on all of them. You don't wear a mask except for Halloween, Margie. <laughs> And that is your prerogative. That's what I love. You can do what you want to do. If you don't want to dress up at Halloween, you don't have to. I never really got a whole lot of time to dress up in the past, except for when I worked for the large insurance company. We would dress up there. Oh, I don't know why I stopped. I'm not done yet. Um, we would dress up there. So it was kind of fun to be able to participate like that what is your favorite Halloween costume that you had throughout your life was it one you made did you purchase it tell us about it I know this is the wrong time of year but why not You like that, Dolisa? So now I've got one for the green. So I'm just going to come in here with uh, forest moss and we're going to do the leaves. Oh, I was trying to get ink and I was putting it on the wrong thing. <laughs> okay. And then I've got one for my distressed ink. And I found that if I kind of just go around the outline, it kind of helps make that pop and give it a little bit of depth. It kind of grunges it up a little. I don't know why I had that all the way on the... I was going across myself. <laughs> that happens. Okay. What do you think? Just making your own background, coloring it in. We're going to add some distress inks. See how it just starts to come together? And you see where you could do this with other stencil patterns? It doesn't have to be the stars. All right, and then we're going to grab. Do I have any left? Star Spangled Banner. Just about out of. Let's do that. We'll do Star Spangled Banner. We'll just put that right across the bottom there. Is that cool, Margie? Thanks, Nicole, for being here. You're welcome. But wait, there's more. All right, we don't need those anymore. Moving on up. What do you think? I like that. And this guy is going to pop right here. So there's our finished journal page. Is that colorful enough for you with the red, white, and blues? I love this little card. And then here is, oh, I forgot something. Oh, no, I didn't. Okay. I thought I'd forgot something, but it's built in. <laughs> so here is the other one. I did the same thing. Same kind of concept of making my own journal card page. Using those card making techniques. Well, yeah. 
you know the skills, use them. You feel so patriotic from that page? Well, wait, there's more. So here's the goodies for the next page. We're going to start with a Bible page. Okay, and I need, I have a need for my stencil to reappear. There it is. Found it. Move, move it on over. Move it on over. Trying to get me a little bit of room here. All right, so I've got my fireworks stencil. I've got Distress Oxide Blueprint Sketch. And I have Aged Mahogany Distressed Ink. The same one that I used to stamp the heart a moment ago. And what I'm going to do, I'm looking to make sure I got this right. Let's go this way. Okay. So I'm going to do this in blue, red, blue, red. And I don't need to come all the way down because I'm going to put a pocket on here. So we said blue. Oh, and that's red. <laughs> all right, we're going to be opposite because I just messed up my uh, tool. i got to clean it. I should have put the blue in first. All right. Let's go back to this one. I still want it to be opposite, so that's why I cleaned my brush, because I'd already gotten it dirty. I didn't want to, to have to clean two brushes. We're going to do blue this time. All right, see how that comes up on the page? And I'm going to do it again. You have a, I've had a headache too. It's driving me crazy. I'm going to match it like we did on the other side. I took some Benadryl and some allergy medicine. I hope it goes away soon. I hope it goes away for you too. I think it's all the stuff in the air. All the stuff that came over from... When they say South Africa, I think that's right. It's amazing how stuff can travel. And being in the middle of the United States, we get that kind of stuff all the time here. All the winds blow in. All right, so I did both sides. They had a little transfer. Oh, no, that's from the other side. I was like, wait, there's a transfer. What's going on? I don't understand. All right, so if we are, which way do I want to do this? Let's fold it. We will fold it so I know where my center mark is. And over here, I want a pocket. So I'm looking through my pile here of elements that I could have swore I cut and put in here. Ah, wait, there it is. I need these elements, and I need, I have a need, where is it, do I just skip it, ah, it's on the bottom, I have all these piles of things that I have to use, <laughs> all right, so over here, I've got this blue and red. This is going to go there. That's going to go there. But that's too plain. So let's do some embossing. So I've got the Postscript Collage. I've got my gold embossing powder. About to cut off your hair.
Yeah, the the sands and the and the dust comes over every year exactly. So then we're used to it coming up every year. It just depends where it's going to hit landfall. All right. I've got this guy and this guy that we're going to work on. So I want to do one more thing. I'm going to use the star stencil and we're going to use the distress oxide blue. Now I've added the blue stars in there. I'm going to go ahead and dry this real quick. There you go. The worst will think you have chemo if you just cut it all off. Oh my gosh. We can go to a salon here in Oklahoma. Some areas cannot. Yeah, you're in a small town and the hairdresser is booked until the end of July right now. You got the last day of July. That's crazy, Robin. In my town, we have equal amount of churches to hairdressers. And we have a lot of churches. <laughs> you could probably stand on one street and then start walking and you're going to pass six churches. <laughs> and just as many hair salons. <laughs> Yeah, it did take me time to get my dog groomed. I will say that. My groomer has been booked. I got to look at the calendar and get my next one booked so that she will have time because that lady's busy. All right, what did I do with it? I need my embossing ink pad. All right, now it was just here. That's what I get. I showed y'all how to make. Where did it go? Why did it leave? Alright, there it is. It was on its side. Way out in the back corner. It had fallen over. <laughs> yeah, cats are easy. They don't usually need to be groomed or get their hair cut. Go to a salon for doggies. Right, we're going to emboss this. So I'll put a little embossing on that one. I'm going to do it on this one. Okay, put this in the drawer so I can find it when I want it later. I dried the stars earlier because using Distress Oxide, if you don't dry them and you go and try to put embossing powder on them, it will stick. Ask me how I know. <laughs> I'll show you in just a moment. <laughs> Because I was like, oh, that's not what I wanted. Dang it. <laughs> All right, so we're going to heat this up. Get my pan. Mm -hmm. I got to do this one more time. Cat self groom, yep. Hope he looks like Santa, but that's okay, yeah. <laughs> yeah, love him. <laughs> love the kitties. Love our dogs. You know, humans are only here to serve cats. Yeah, bathing a cat is really not a fun experience. I've had to do it. They don't really like it. I don't like it either.
But sometimes you just got to do it. <laughs> one day, one day they're going to make a plunge. All right. Can't do cat. I'm allergic, I found out. Yeah, you have to do it when they're babies and and show them, hey, I'm not going to drown you. This is not a big deal. I think I need a little bit more here. And maybe right there. Aw, she's there wanting to be loved on. All right, so we've got this. I've got a notebook paper that was given to me, and I thought I would use it. I think it's a Dollar Tree pad that from a long time ago, and I found it, and I thought, well, the blue would look really good, so I'm going to glue that down. We're going to make the cover of our journals. We're going to use the chipboard pieces after I get this one made, this page made. We're running late today because I was having internet issues today. So this is going to go over here as a pocket. I'm going to put that on top of it. Like so. And then I'll glue this down as a pocket. Like that. You have that Dollar Je Train Jeans paper? It's cute paper. Then I've got this one. I'm going to put this in the middle. I'm going to glue it on the side, across the bottom, and then I'll make another little tuck spot on my pocket. Kind of like the watch pocket on jeans. You know, the pocket that's really use useless for anything other than a pocket watch. <laughs> Had glitter all over it. There's glitter everywhere! Glitter everywhere! Someone was saying they don't want to use glitter because it gets into the world and I'm like well I've already got it might as well use it up I mean you know might as well just spread it around <laughs> all right and then I made this little tuck spot pocket this is one of the images from the kit and I had a scrap of cardstock I thought it'd be really cute to put kind of up higher for a little layered look so I'm just going to put glue on the sides and across the bottom and we'll put it uh, probably right about right about here. And then I made this journal card. It's an artist trading card size and same concept that we did with the roses where we did the stencil background of the stars then I did the embossing in the gold punch and then one of Norella's uh, words that's going to go right there and then here's a tag I made and the tag the blue uh, ink was still wet so can you see the glitter all over it which looks cool but that's not what I wanted <laughs> so that goes right there I have a, uh, where'd it go? I just had it. Ah. I have a scrap of cardstock. I think it's four, two by four, three by four, three by four. I'm going to fold it in half. And it will be just a little, let's do it like this, booklet type of a thing right there. I have 
just one of the striped cardstock. I thought that would good there. Over here, I've got this rose from Norella. I've also got this really tall one that we put over here. Oh, thank you, Margie, for your donation. And oh yeah, I didn't show you that I did the tattered angels for the ribbon. Yeah, the little useless jean pocket was originally to put to hold a what pocket watch. Yeah, that's what it's for. Now it's just decorative. All right, we'll flip that over. That's not my piece. Where is it? Ah, that piece. I want that. Ha, huh. and I will want this guy. So we're going to do two things. I'm going to stamp this guy again with the postscript collage and the Versamark ink. We're going to dip that into the embossing powder. I'm going to set that aside for a moment. I've got the eagle from the chipboard kit. And I'm going to take my ink pad again. Thank you, Jennifer. And go right onto that eagle. And I'm really mushing it to it so it gets coated. Thank you so much for your donation. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, Margie. You're so sweet. I, You're amazing. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. And we're going to put that in here. And let's heat emboss those. Oh, I'm sorry, Terry, that you can't get the super chat to work. It's probably something to do with my buffering. You may have to watch it on replay, Sam. I understand. We're having lots of buffering. You hate missing all the fun, Connie? You love the eagle, Robin? Get hot, 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 hot. It'll still have some skipping in it. If we're lucky, sometimes it will be just perfect. And sometimes it'll show the buffering. A lot of times it fixes it. Oh, it's in your cart, Robin. <laughs> I got to get your coupon code to you, Robin. All right, I think that's almost done. It's about cooked. All right. Take that away. Take it away. I don't want to touch it yet because I'm sure it's hot. Okay. There we go. Robin needs a bigger cart. <laughs> you like that design bossing? Isn't that gorgeous how that came out? I've got a little saying here that we'll put on there. I'll glue this down, but I'm not going to glue the pocket down yet. I've got one more thing to do behind there. And I should have done it earlier. But I'm going to set this over here. And we're going to use the stencil again.
I'm almost got this bottle of Tattered Angels empty. That's positive vibes I'm using. Now this is going to have some variation to it because I'm mopping up that stencil where we did some Distress Oxide on it. So you kind of get a cool effect. This guy's going to go there. I'm going to dry it for a moment. Let's get, um, let's do the heart again. Got the heart. And we've got the aged mahogany. I'll stamp that kind of in this corner. Let's put some distress inks on here. I understand when the buffering's happening. I decided just to go ahead and do it. Okay. So that's going to go over here. We've already put the pattern on that side, so now we just need to glue it down. You could stitch it down. You could have... Um, use shabby stitches on it. I'm running out of time. I didn't use it on the other one, so I just thought I would spend more time on other elements. Like embossing powder! That's going to go right there. Put that right here. And then I've got this scrapbook paper like we used earlier. And I'm going to glue this to make a pocket. I'll put that right here. This is in the kit, so I thought it would look good right there. I have a card that I want to put in the pocket, so what I like to do is kind of lay the card out and then figure out where I need to put the pocket so that I get it down low enough and it's not sticking out the top. New firework stencil. I don't know what your question was, Julie. I didn't see it. So that's going to go right there. And this gal is going to go right here from the kit. And this gal is going to go right here from the kit. What do you think? Not another cute page? All right. So now we shall work on the covers of the journal. All right, so I've got these two pieces, and I think what I want to do is, I have, oh, that one didn't get printed on the other side. This is the one. This is the one I printed on both sides. So what if we did I Heart USA? We could emboss it in the red. I think it would look really pretty in the red. I've got... Um, this flag, and I have the word USA. Let me fold this in half. Okay. So I think if we did I Heart USA. That would look really pretty just in the red embossing powder. And then this is USA with the stars. And I think we should be red with that as well. I was thinking about using the flag, but I think that's too much. It kind of goes with that one. I think, though, I just want to do these two. So we're going to take these two. We're going to ink them up just like we did before. So I'm getting my scrap of paper ready. In my pan. 
We did lots of embossing today. Y'all haven't seen me do this much embossing in a while, huh? Oh, thank you, Janice. Okay, so we really got that inked up. I'm going to get my piece of paper. I'm going to go ahead and sprinkle it, and we're going to do the other one at the same time. So I'll let that sit for a second. And let's ink this one. This one, i got to be careful. The connector for that between the U and the S isn't super strong. Lots of ink. Lay that in here. Sprinkle that on. All right, I got a pair of tweezers that can kind of help with uh, picking this up. See that red sparkle? Backing. Are you talking about the journal the journal page? I'm just using cardstock for the covers of my journals today. You like the squishy squishy sound? <laughs> yeah, it's a it's a thick Bible page. All right. We're going to heat emboss this, glue it down, and put together our journal. Fit to page. Oh, Dorlisa, you having problems? I'm curious, is it normal to have printed pages from... They probably, if you sent it to a print shop, you probably had to upload it where it printed landscape mode. Yeah, I always turn the fit to page off. Because they should already be sized because they're JPEG images. And Norella sizes them to fit. And you can resize them if you want. That's why she sends JPEGs. I like it. I'm watching the embossing change. Borderless setting. Yeah, I do too. But some page... Some print shops, you have to tell them. Yeah. You like them, Sam? Thank you. All right, so this one should be not hot. This one will be a little bit hot. I'll try not to touch it. Don't touch it. Okay. I like it. So now if we come back over here. All right, that should be cool now. How does that look on there and that? You like that? I'm just going to do the really simple. You like them, Jennifer? So, you know, when I show you all the chipboard pieces, you don't have to just paint them. You can stamp on them sometimes if the bold pattern is bold enough, kind of like we did with the USA map or silhouette. 
you can use embossing ink you could paint them you can coat them in distress oxide ink these are not a one-trick pony there's lots of ways you can use them yeah if you can do you may some printers depending on what you have set up you can tell it borderless uh, most inkjet photo printers are borderless you may not be able to print two-sided you'll have to print the page put it back in the paper tray and then hit print again because it's borderless mine is that way but I don't mind otherwise it was going to cost a whole lot more all right so we're going to put that on here all right I'm going to clean up and then we're going to put this journal together y'all I know it's taking me forever I didn't use all the pieces yet so I'll find a use for it all You like him? Party, party, party. Ah, you had a, you had today two cups of warm lemon water. It's a healthy way to help your liver cleanse your body after disinfectant sleeping. Cool, that's cool. I've done the warm lemon and water. Yeah, I put a little bit of honey in it. <laughs> All right, so I've got my covers. I happen to have a couple of elements left. Why not use them? So I'm going to put, we'll put that right in the middle back here. I do have some red cardstock left. Let's do that. Do you want a pocket in the front or the back? I'm thinking the front. And instead of stamping it with the gold ink, let's just stamp it with black ink just because it'll be faster. So I'm going to clean my stamp because I was using embossing ink on it. I'll grab my postscript collage. I'm going to do it again. Still, yeah, st we're still going. Uh. All right, we'll put that right there. And then we'll glue out here. Still going. I'm almost done, though. I think what we're going to do is the last raffle. And did we get both raffles? I think we did. I think, if not, it's really close. All right, and I've got this piece that I'm going to put back here in the back. It'll be a tuck spot. Instead of cutting more paper to make another pocket. And then we'll repeat that over here. Like that. It's a good laugh. Your secret decoder ring needs an upgrade. <laughs> <sighs> both journals awesome thank you margie i'm not keeping a journal today okay 
I almost glued that on the front outside, and that's not what I wanted. Y'all would have let me. <sighs> Too funny. I'm going to put that right here. Thank you, Ashley. You love it? Well, thank you. Real southern. It's southern. All right, so here are the pages. So that's Norella's page. And there's my page. So I'm just going to fold all of these in half. And I may change this. Let's see here. I'm going to do that right when you open the journal. These were pages that I made last year on the 4th of July. And these are available as a digital download in my shop. Just the same as uh, Norella's are eligible or available. Thank you, Robin. Yeah, you like the prints? Thank you, Sam. So there's some of the pages that I made. And I think I'm going to... Uh, yeah, we'll put this as the front cover, maybe. I may change this up this time. What if I think I like this one for the center page, although this one's pretty too, but I think I like this one better. Yeah, because it's got the glitter and stuff. Yeah, so that'll be my dead center. What if we were to put vellum on the first page that would give us this look. Do I have it upside down? Would that look okay? You kind of get a neat effect behind it. Or would it be better to put it where it's next to that page? I think I like that better. So we're going to put that and that and that. We have a white page. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Don't I have where's my other pages? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I can't count worth the flip, y'all. All right, so I've got the USA. We're gonna grab oh yeah. Y'all ready for the raffle? <laughs> Alright, we're going to do the uh, the raffle for the mop-up papers. As soon as I snatch up these uh, pages and put them in the piles. And then I will bind the journals and we will do a flip through of the journals. And during that time, those that had donated will be able to enter that raffle to win one of these two journals. So right now, this is the last free raffle. Go ahead and get in on that free raffle right now. And then we will start raffling off the... Uh, journals. Remember if you donated that you head over to lindaisrael.com and create an user account there. When you do, make sure you message me at lindaisrael.com in the contact me form. That way I have your email address and what your 
username is on YouTube and I will get you added to the YouTube donator membership on my website which gives you some free digital downloads as well as discounts you can't math either <laughs> alright so we're gonna raffle off right now the mop-up papers these are some papers that I made today all in the stars and that winner is you like the stencil page thank you Sam with the fireworks thank you that winner is Raven Patel hey Raven you've won my mop-up paper so now I'm sending stuff to you you sent me something now I'm sending something to you all right we're gonna reset and then this is for those that have donated, only those that have donated. So donate, I might think I got it spelled right, deal. Only one journal. All right, let's open that giveaway. And these people have donated. I show Jennifer Smith, Margie, Karen, Janice, Dorlisa, Jennifer Edmondson, Raven, Barb, Tanya, Sherry, Connie, and Marge again. Wow, Marge, you gave quite a bit. Thank you so much. Okay, perfect, Raven. You're welcome. All right, so we're going to bind these. I'm going to do one more thing before I put them together. I want to make sure that none of my pages are upside down. We're going to cut a length of wax linen thread. We're going to poke holes in our journal and bind it together. All right. So I'm going to look at this, make sure that page isn't upside down. That one's right side up. Okay. All right. So when I do the final raffle, what you'll do is you'll tell me if you want the one that says uh, I Heart USA or if you want the starred USA. Get my tool. You want to add a V when you do this. You love the journal cards? Aren't they awesome? Thank you so much, Margie. That's so sweet of you. You love it, Jennifer? One, two, three. Whoa! My wax linen thread was just a buck and away. You think it was a wild brop, just a hip hopping all around here? You want one, Terry? Or, uh, gosh, I was, I was combining your name. <laughs> you want one, Ashley? <sighs> I can bring all the stuff and you can make it. You want me to bring all the stuff on Saturday? We'll just sit and make. It's cold, Je Julie. Well, here, we're going to be hot. Hot, hot, hot. Wax linen bunk and Bronco. <laughs> uh, well, that's what I just, it just came to my mind. <sighs> yeah, you can't wait till we get together and play. <laughs> Woo. All right, we got the first one. It's I'm tying the knots. I'm tying the knots. After our bucking bronco wax <laughs> linen thread. Oh, my word. I love it. No, y'all can't have it. I'm going to keep them both. Thanks for the donations. <laughs> Thanks for the gift. <laughs> yeah, I swear I figured there'd be way too much going on. But we'll, we can get together and that's what we'll do. I'll bring stuff and we can play. I'd invite you to my house, but you'd have to sleep on the sofa. 
I don't have a guest bedroom. It's got stuff in it. Alright. Let's poke a hole here. Yeah, if you if you live because you live way up north, it's a lot uh, cooler up there, and I don't like the cooler climate. You're all you're all of that for a sofa, <laughs> especially if you get get away from everybody for the weekend. She'll be coming up. I'm going to Linda's house for the weekend. Y'all are driving me crazy. Then you come here. I'm going to go home. You're driving me crazy. <laughs> you sleep on the floor. Your back. My back would be killing me if I slept on the floor. Hard surface. Oh, I'm a weenie. I have to have a soft, fluffy mattress. All right. We're going to tie this off. I'll flip through the journals and we'll pick the winners. How's that? We're not too, too late. Sometimes I've gone as long as 7 p.m., but we're not going to be here that much longer. Putting all my tools back in my toolbox. I was telling the girls at my workshop Saturday that I lost a pair of scissors and I couldn't find it. And I just opened a box for my Fantastics. And that's where my other pair of scissors was located. So I was glad I found them. All right, let me find a good pen. Here we go. I'll sign these and flip through them. It's the humidity. Yeah, you're used to it now. Slipping on the floor. I love it. I like how that looked. Layering that up like that. Can't really see my signature here. I'm going to go up the side. It might be famous someday or not. Alright, well let's flip through them. They're pretty much the same journal. But you'll see, I don't have anything in the pockets up here. So you got room to put your own. Of course, we used the USA, and it looks like I ended up flaking some of it off, so we'll fix that when I get off here. I'll spot emboss that. And I probably didn't have enough uh, embossing ink. Where we stamped. Journal card here. It's vintage, but bright vintage is what I like. Oh, uh, thank you, Ashley. Yeah, they, they make me sign them. They get mad at me when they go out and I didn't sign them. There's the USA. You could even, you know, when you get the journal, you could kind of put a dark and, and dot and say, I live here. <laughs> I like the way the embossing on those turned out. You love vintage stuff, Ashley? It's pretty. It's so pretty. This is where we did the little card. A little tag. Sick of the browns. Well, you're not getting the browns here. You got some bright red and blue and white. A little bit of everything. I didn't put anything on that page. So there's room for you to add. You could add more pockets in here. More little flip out writing space if you want. And I like that, you know, we did different techniques. So it's kind of eclectic looking too. You know, yes, Julie, I have made a couple of journals uh, because I wanted it so bad. Um... I'm working on some journal pages right now that I think I'm going to end up just making a journal and it's going to be mine. I may show it to y'all. You're going to have to beg me for it. 
<laughs> but you see it's the same concept here in the other journal. So yes, I have done that. I've got uh, the Youthful Yellow behind me. I've got the Punked Out Steam. Those were my journals. I sat down and made them just for me. Thank you, Sam. So yeah, I've got... Uh, I haven't written in them. But, oh, and I've got a Radiant Red. So here's the Punked Out Steam. And then this was the youthful yellow so when i show y'all that i make a journal well then i put it in this midori cover so i can take this journal out and write in it if i want i haven't written in this one but these are two that i decided to make the journals and keep them oh come on now all right so it comes crashing down all right Thank you so much. Thank you, Ashley. Thank you, Sam. Thank you, Julie. You love the youthful yellow robin. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Yeah, and I'll fix this when I get off here. I'll add some more embossing powder to it. All right, let's pick the winner. You're very welcome. Now you're ready to use the chipboard, right, Jennifer? All right, so the first winner, you're going to tell me which journal that you want. Is everybody in there? I see it. Okay. The winner of the first journal, tell me which one you want, the USA with the stars or the I Heart USA. And the winner is Dorlisa McQuillan. I hope I said the right. McQuillan. Please forgive me for butchering it. Congratulations. Let me know which one you would like. I gotta get my embossing pad out. Got the embossing powder. Gotta fix it. <clears throat> Congratulations, Dorlisa. What? You won. Did you did you win one last week too? Which one would you like? With the stars. All right. So that's the one I got to fix. So Dorlisa's getting the USA with the stars. All right. The USA heart. The winner is. The winner is Karen Owens. Congratulations, Karen. You won the other journal. Yay. <laughs> Robin, are you having issues? Are you having typing errors? Well, that was with the journals we made. I got to fix that one. I hope you enjoyed what we did today. I'll be back live on Thursday doing some mixed media. You're welcome, Karen. You love it? Yay! Um, We'll make some gel prints. We'll do some stuff. I think next Monday, because it's a holiday weekend, I'm truly going to take a holiday and go see my daughter that I have not met since she was born. And I'm not going to prep stuff this weekend. So we're going to have an eclectic Monday live journal. Um, so that's what we're going to do Monday is eclectic. So it's whatever I have on hand already fussy cut out and printed and whatnot so kind of uses up some of my stash and uh, we'll be back again on thursday doing some mixed media thank you dorlisa thank you so much thank you thank you thank you you're welcome sam you're very welcome i will be doing the new is it cockatiel it's a new bird kit by Norella. It won't be next week. It'll be probably the following week. Um, I'll get that out to y'all. Let y'all see it. You're welcome, Raven. Thanks for being here. Thank you to my moderators as well. I really appreciate Robin and all the work she does for me. Hey, Sherry. Thanks for being here. We'll see you Thursday. Bye, Julie. Bye, Ashley. Yay! All right. We'll see you this weekend, Ashley, if we don't see you Thursday. Meaning you see me. Yeah, birds will be cut. They have like lots of cockatiels. Uh, Bonnie. No, I have not. I had to think. I don't think yours is shipped yet. I have a list that I go through. I'll have to look at it. 
Thank you so much, Julie. Thank you. Y'all have a great rest of your day. It's time for dinner. We'll get to start cooking here in a few minutes. Bye, everybody. All right, I'm going to get off here. Thanks for sticking through the buffering. <laughs> I really appreciate each and every one of y'all. Have an amazing day. Have an amazing week. We'll see you Thursday in the live chat. Hey, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you really could do me a great favor of coming back and leaving a comment on this video, what was your favorite part? I'd great. It helps me with YouTube uh, if you do that as well. Do check out the Friendly Junk Journal People Facebook group as well as by Linda Israel and, of course, my website. Yeah, that's what I thought she wanted to tra travel's notebook next week. Time to eat dinner. Y'all take care. Lots of love to you. Bye, everybody.